Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with the no no tag. So this is a tag all about what oils, what scents, what notes do you not particularly care for in your home fragrance? This is such a fun idea. This was created by Jiju here on YouTube. So I will link her channel down below. And then I was tagged by Steph the Scent of Gemini. So her channel as well will be in the description box. So thank you so much, Steph, for tagging me in this video. I'm usually pretty vocal, I feel like, about what <laughs> I don't like, but I would love in the comments down below for you guys to list the, the oils or the scents that you particularly don't care for and that you stay away from. So for me, let's start with fruits. Grape is a hard no. Same with banana. I don't like Laffy Taffy banana. And what's interesting about those two things is I don't really like those in in food either. I don't like banana Laffy Taffy. Um, I don't like grape. I like grapes, real grapes. I don't like the artificial grape flavored candies. And so I kind of wonder because I don't like those in food, if that translates to me not liking them at home fragrance. I think that probably plays some part of it. I'm curious, if you're somebody that likes banana Laffy Taffy, do you not like it in in home fragrance as an oil? I'm curious to to hear what you guys uh what you guys think. But definitely those. I don't like anything for the most part that's super artificial. And I think for me that's a big part about why I don't like those fragrances is because they're so artificial, so chemically smelling to me. They're just not my favorite. Now, if you did like a banana nut muffin, I still don't, I don't actively search for those types of fragrances, but a bakery heavy, more realistic banana, I can, I can handle more. But if, if it has even an ounce of that Laffy Taffy or anything like that, I don't, I don't particularly care for it. Same with pineapple. I, I love pineapple to eat, but there's something about a lot of the oils that pull very artificial to me. And there are a lot of blends that have pineapple in them that I really do love. So it just depends on what the oil is. But again, if it's that artificial fragrance, I just, yeah, I, I can't, I can't handle it. That's what really sticks out to me. Um, so I don't really care for Scentsy's pineapple a lot. I can do more vendor wax pineapple normally, but something in the way Scentsy does their pineapple can be really hit and miss. Same with Scentsy and pumpkin. And I would say just pumpkin in general, although I like pumpkin pecan waffles and I do, I do like pumpkin, but I'm more hit and miss with it. And I think a lot of that has to do with um, me not liking bakery as much as I used to. I'm definitely an earthy, masculine cologne type fragrance lover now. I love the perfume dupes. That's those are the scents I'm I'm leaning more towards and less bakery. And a lot of times the pumpkin just comes off very bakery, kind of basic to me. And so I don't always love that. Again, just depends on the blend because there are exceptions to all of my my rules here and it also depends on what particular oil is used you know there's many different oils for the same thing and so it depends on on the particular oil um i don't like scentsy squashy pumpkin to me it smells like baby food it smells just like a raw gut of a pumpkin and it smells like it's kind of rotted a bit to me so i have to be really careful with scentsy's pumpkin and I, I tread lightly. I like to try things because there have been so many items that I have tried that I didn't think that I would like and that are, you know, wild cards that end up being favorites. For example, Pet Cemetery from, or it's called Morning Walk now, I'm sorry, Morning Walk from Super Tarts. That one is, it's like brisky, brisk leaves, amber, I can't remember all the notes, but it has a touch of dirt in it. And when I first was buying from Super Tarts and kind of hearing people's reviews about Super Tarts, you know, years ago, I was like, oh, that's definitely a wild card because of the dirt. I don't know how I'm going to feel. 
not a scent that I think I would particularly love. Picked it up and you guys see, if you watch me, I'm a dirt lover. <laughs> I am obsessed with dirt ones. And so sometimes those wild cards really throw you into something that you love. I don't know how I got off that little tangent, but um, the point is that it depends on the oil and I like to try new things because you never know. I don't know. That's probably about it for fruit other than um, strawberry is a huge one. I've talked about my kind of love-hate relationship with strawberry here for a really long time. It was the first oil that I ever was turned off by. So what I like is I like bakery heavy strawberries. I like macerated juicy strawberries that have that sugar component, that bakery component. I do not like fresh picked strawberry. And I know that so many people do um, like the strawberry that's in summer scoop and, and different blends like that. If it is that fresh picked strawberry, it smells, <laughs> to me, it smells like rancid milk. I don't know why my nose does that. It's done that for years. I've told this story so many times on my channel, so I hate to repeat myself, but I feel like it's appropriate for this video. My first ever vendor wax was from Sassy Girl Aroma back in like 2016, 2017-ish time, probably. And my Scentsy consultant at the time so generously sent me quite a bit of Sassy Girl Aroma wax to try. And... The first blend I ever smelled was Montego Bay. Great first scent to try in vendor wax. And that was truly my gateway. I was hooked. But in that first kind of shipment, <laughs> friend mail vendor wax that I picked up, she had sent me a blend that had a strawberry in it. And it smelled, I got that sour milk, something was rotting type of fragrance and me being new to vendor wax and you know that was my first time I didn't have any concept about how vendor wax was made or how it worked I thought oh the oil has gone bad in this the oil has went rancid and it doesn't smell <laughs> like it's supposed to I quickly learned that that is not true that is the way that strawberry smells and a lot of people love it and, and don't get that type of sour milk scent but that's strongly what I get. So I tiptoe with strawberry in scents. I I really look at the scent notes and if it's a new vendor to me, I might pick up if it doesn't say like strawberry pound cake, I'll know I'll know I know I like that. But if it just says fresh strawberry or strawberry in general, I might pick up one one scent just to see what the oil is like. But strawberry is definitely a scent that I I stay away from until I kind of know that it's a strawberry that I will enjoy. Let's see what else. Licorice. Um, although I have had some licorice in the past, and if it's blended really well, I can handle it. But it's not a scent that I, I search for or would say I really enjoy it. Um, licorice. Root beer. Cannot do root beer. Again, but I don't like root beer to drink. I, I don't like root beer at all anyway. And so that might have something to, to do with it. I do love cola scents, but not, not root beer. Um, cashmere can be similar in that vein too. And I'm kind of wondering if it's just one oil. I don't always love Teddy B's cashmere cream and I have tried cashmere and other blends before uh, from other vendors and have enjoyed it more. So I don't know if it's a, a dislike of cashmere per se, or if it's a dislike of that particular oil, um, just because I feel like it's so strong and it takes over a lot of things. I mean, it's pretty, it's not a bad oil and I, I don't hate it. And honestly, it's probably ranked pretty high compared to some of these on this list, but it's definitely a, a scent that I avoid and don't pick up a lot of if cashmere is in the notes. Although I love cashmere and corduroy from Sensi. That is one of my favorite, all time favorite bars is cashmere and corduroy. So I'm a walking contradiction. You just never know. But again, it's so dependent on the particular blend, the particular oil. Um, What else? 
I love tree fragrances, but one tree oil that I do not care for is sugared spruce. I think that is the only tree oil that I don't care for. There's just something about it that is so strong and just like nose clearing in some ways that it is a, a fragrance that, that I cannot handle. Um, I feel like that's probably about it. I'm sure there's something that I'm later going to be like, okay, you forgot to talk about this. You forgot to talk about that. But I would think that those are the biggest, the biggest ones. Blueberry, blueberry is one. Um, and it's more like blueberry muffin that I don't particularly care for, like a bakery heavy blueberry. But I'm sure there's going to be some, like I said, that scream at me later that I forget to mention. But I am willing to try anything once. And I'm also willing to try anything after a couple of years to see how my nose has changed because it has. My nose has changed many times in the course of buying wax. You know, your nose and your scent preferences and everything is very hormonal too. And as we grow and develop and change and grow in different areas of life, your senses change too with hormones. And so you never know. I'll probably come back in a couple of years and these will be my favorite scents and I won't like tree anymore. It's very possible. Um, because pine, pine and tree used to be a scent I absolutely detested and now I can't get enough of it. So it just, it just depends. Coffee. <laughs> I should have written all these down and prepared. Although I'm getting a little bit more into coffee. Just to touch, I'm getting a little bit more into it. But yeah, coffee is a huge one too. But in any case, those are some of the my no-no oil, some of the scents that I don't particularly love and maybe kind of avoid or or pick and choose here and there to try some new things. But in general, those are my kind of avoid list. I'm really late on putting this video up, so I'm not going to tag anybody because I'm late and I feel like a lot of people have been tagged already, so I, I truly don't know who to even tag. So if you have not done this video and you would like to do it, please, I would love to see your no-no tag. Consider yourself tagged. And like I said, please, if you don't make YouTube videos, I would love to hear in the comments down below what are a handful of things that you particularly don't like in home fragrance and maybe steer clear from. Thank you, Jiju, for coming up with this tag. This is such a fun idea. And thank you, Stephanie, for tagging me. I so appreciate it. I really hope that you guys enjoyed and I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye.